for on-site work, the express can be quickly assembled. Initially, place the mast base on the ground and insert the lower slide with the front wheels. The longer side of the lower side should correspond with the longer axle tube on the base. Secure the slide in place by attaching the rear heel hook and inserting both locking pins. Again, the hook should be positioned on the same side as the longer axle tube. Tilt the mast base forward so when the upper mast is inserted it is stable. Insert the upper mast into the mast base as seen here. Attach the T handlebar to the mast base with the two pins. Adjust the length and angle so the handle is at about waist height. Remember to insert the locking pin in the telescopic handle to prevent it sliding out and then tighten the hand knob. The vacuum cups can now be secured. Safety checks. Before use, inspect the vacuum cups for damage or cuts. Test the vacuum cups by attaching them to clean glass, applying vacuum and observing the plunger. It must not move out within a reasonable time of 15 minutes. If the red line is visible, the vacuum cup may be faulty. Contact your supplier for a replacement vacuum cup. Test the rotating pin to ensure that it locks automatically in all four positions. Before use, inspect the winch cable by unwinding the winch completely. With gloves, inspect the entire length of cable to identify if there are any loose strands or the cable is flattened or damaged. Inspect both ends of the cable, including the shackle, for damage. Ensure that the shackle is secured firmly. Inspect the top pulley for damage and that it rotates easily. Slide the head up and down, ensuring that it moves easily and there is no sign of damage. Check that the head brake prevents movement of the head when wound in. When winding in the cable on the winch, using gloves, ensure that it is neatly layered on the winch drum to prevent the cable crossing over when under load. Test the pin to index the mast. It should automatically lock when the mast is returned to the forward facing position. Whenever possible, and especially on inclined ground, the wheelbase must be widened to its maximum width before lifting glass. This can be achieved by loosening the axle lock, move the wheel and shaft out to the outer indicator line, and re-secure the wheel by firmly tightening the axle lock. Inspect all wheels for damage to the tyre and bearings. If pneumatic tyres are used, then the working pressure is indicated on the tyre wall. The Express is rated to lift 80 kilograms with one person and 150 kilograms using two operators. Ensure that the headlock is firmly tightened whenever the Express is transporting, rotating or indexing the glass. The Express is designed to transport glass on flat and mildly inclined ground. When transporting glass on an inclined ground, the glass must be on the high side of an inclined surface otherwise the express may become unstable and the glass may fall. Also, avoid using the express in windy conditions. When using the express, the operators must have read and understood the manual and viewed this training video. We recommend that operators use the express with glass in a safe, controlled environment at least three to four times before using it on site. Operators need to wear their full complement of safety personal equipment when using the Express. Never allow anyone to stand immediately in front of or place any part of their body under the suspended glass. Unloading glass from a truck. Park the truck in a safe location away from passing traffic to allow for the glass to be unloaded safely.
Move the express to the side of the truck and adjust the vacuum cup height to the middle of the glass. Always attach the vacuum cups to the middle of the glass to keep them load balanced and the express stable. Attach the two vacuum cups to the glass by pumping the plunger until the brass plunger stays depressed and the red line is not visible. Start winding up the winch to tension the cable so the glass can be unloaded. Release the black lever so that when the mast is tilted back, this pin will lock the mast vertically. Once the mast is locked in vertically, then the express with glass can be moved. If the glass needs to be reorientated, then break the express and move the glass as required. In this example, the glass is swiveled to the side to allow the operator to move the glass through a narrow passage. This is achieved by placing one hand on the edge of the glass and unlocking the mast pin. When moving the express with glass, the operator needs to support the glass with their left hand and push the express with their right hand as seen here. When loading glass onto a tilt table, the express can be manoeuvred as seen in this video. Apply the foot brake and raise the glass so it can be elevated for rotation. The express needs to be balanced while the operator retracts the lower slide. This will allow the glass to be rotated and then lowered onto the table ledge. The glass can now be released and placed on the tilt table. Installing a window. Quattro Lifts recommends using two people to install and remove glass. Position the express in front of the window in order to prepare the glass for installation. Raise the glass and then lock the head so the glass can be rotated. Retract the lower slide. Rotate the glass slowly, making sure that the edges do not strike the floor or ceiling. The glass is now ready for installation. Here, the operator can balance the weight of the glass by placing a foot on the lower slide 
to control the forward angle of the glass. Using the winch, the glass can now be elevated into the top channel and then lowered into the bottom channel.